Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this cat. You'll need four colours of cotton or wool. I'll be using white for the main colour, pink for the nose and inner ears, and green and black for the eyes. You'll also need a crochet hook, sewing or darning needle, scissors, and black thread for the whiskers and, and mouth. I'll be using sewing cotton to sew the cat together but you could use the same yarn you use to crochet the cat if you prefer. Okay, we'll get started. Now we start with a magic loop, which you start as if you're going to do a chain. Leave a bit of a tail and pull the loop through and we leave quite a large circle. Then we start with three chains and then we'll work five double crochet. A double crochet is yarn round into the circle and pick up a loop. Yarn round the hook, go through the first two loops, yarn round the hook and through the other two. So we do five double crochet, so I need four more. Now I'll be doing three treble. For a treble I put the, my yarn round the hook twice into the circle and pull through a loop. I yarn round the hook, go through the first two loops, yarn round the next two and yarn round and the next two. We need three of those so two more. Next I'll be working six double crochet into the loop. And lastly, I work three more treble. And then I grab hold of the tail and pull it as tight as I can. And then slip stitch in the third chain. For row two, we start with three chain and I'll do one double crochet in the same place as I've done the three chain. Now I'm going to work two double crochet in each of the next five double crochet.
Now I'll be working two treble into each of the next three treble. And now two double crochet in each of the next six double crochet. And lastly we'll work two treble in each of the last these three treble, two in each. And then we join with a slip stitch in the third chain. And our work looks a little bit overlish. For the third row, we start with three chain and we're going to work one double crochet in the next two stitches and then two double crochet in the following stitch. We'll do that three times. So one double crochet in the next two stitches and then two in the following stitch Now we've got to repeat that two more times. So one in the next two and two in the following. One in the next two And two in the following stitch. And now we work one double crochet into the next two stitches. Next we work two treble into the next stitch and then one treble in the following stitch. We do that three times. So two treble into the follow next stitch and then one treble and two treble And then one and 
two treble again and one. I do have my patterns on my website. The details are in the description below if you're not too sure about it. Right, now we're going to do two double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the following stitches, two stitches. We'll do that four times. So two into the next stitch and then one into each of the next two stitches four times. Now we're going to work two treble into the next stitch and one treble into the following stitch. We'll do that three times. So two treble into one stitch and then one treble into the following stitch. Three times. And then we join with a slip stitch into the third chain. For the fourth row, we'll work three chain and then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two into the following stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one double crochet into the next two, each of the next two stitches, and then two double crochet into the following stitch, and then repeat round. One double crochet into the, each of the next two, and then two in the next. So I'll continue around the row and I'll be back when I finish the row. Now at the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain and then we're going to start on the ears. For the first ear I'll start where I finished the head. So two chain and I'm going to work five half double crochet in the next one in each stitch, the next five stitches. So a half double crochet is yarn round, pick up a loop in the next stitch, yarn around and go through all three loops. So we need five of them. And then I work 
two chain and turn and I'm going to do a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. So yarn round the hook, pick up a loop in the next stitch, yarn round the hook, pick up another loop in the following stitch and yarn around and through all the stitches. Then I'll work one half double crochet and then another joined half double crochet. For the last row I start with my two chain and then I work a joined half double crochet over the three stitches. So yarn round, pick up a loop, yarn round in and pick up another loop and yarn round into the final stitch and pick up another loop, yarn around and through all three the stitches from the three and then I fasten on. And that's my first ear. Now I'm going to join my thread and do another ear, probably about here. Maybe there. So I've missed 13 stitches. The next year will be worked the same. Two chain and then five half double double crochet. the following row two chain, a joint half double crochet, one double crochet, one half double crochet sorry and then another joint half double crochet. And the third row a joint half double crochet over the three stitches. And that's your cat head. Next I'm going to start on the body. So I start with a magic loop. Then three chain and I'm going to work 14 double crochet into my circle.
then pull it tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For the second row I work three chain and two double crochet into each stitch. Firstly a double crochet into the same stitch as the chain and then two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you row three. Next, when we finish the row, we work a slip stitch into the third chain. Now rows three, four and five are all the same. We work three chain and then we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet in the following stitch. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch. And we work that all the way round. So we'll do that for rows three, four and five. So I'll finish row three, four and five and I'll come back and show you how to crochet the tail. Now I've finished rows three, four and five and joined with a slip stitch. So now I'm going to start with the tail. For the tail I'll need 30 chain. I missed the first three chain and I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next five chain. So I missed the first three into the fourth. I'll do a double crochet. And then four more double crochet. Now I'm going to do a joined double crochet, so yarn around into the next stitch and pick up a loop, yarn around, take off two, then yarn around into the following stitch and pick up a loop, yarn around through two and yarn around through two. Now I'm going to work three double crochet, one in each stitch, next three stitches. I'm going to work another join double crochet and then three double crochet, one in each stitch. and another join double crochet and one double crochet in the next three stitches. And 
into the next stitch I'm going to work two double crochet. And then I'm going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch. and then a treble into the last, each of the last two stitches. And then I join to the body, just slip stitch and there's the body of your cat and the head will just fit on like that. So I'll fasten that one off. And while I've got white I'll make my paws. For the paws we start with eight chain and then we're going to work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. For row two, we're going to work three chain and one double crochet in each stitch to the end. For row three we start with four chain. And we're going to work a three treble cluster in the same place as the chain. So we put our yarn round twice into this stitch. We'll bring up a loop and yarn round through two and yarn round through two and then We'll start off with another treble, yarn round twice, into the loop and bring up another chain, another loop, yarn round through two and yarn round through two. And we've got three loops on our hook and then we'll put our yarn round twice again into the same stitch and pick up another loop, yarn round through two, yarn round through two and then yarn through and go through all four loops. And that's our three treble cluster. Now we're going to do treble into each stitch till the last. One treble.
Now we're going to work another, a four treble cluster in the last stitch. So the same as our three treble cluster except we just do one extra. And that's our pour. And I'll work another one the same. For the nose, I start with a magic loop and one chain. Now I'm going to do a single crochet, a single crochet is into the circle and pick up a loop and yarn around and through both, both of your loops. Now a half double crochet, a single crochet, a half double crochet and then two single crochet. Pull tight and then slip stitch in the first chain. And that's your nose. Got your little, I just stitched that down a tiny bit so it looks like a tiny heart. For the inner ears, I start with a magic loop and three chain and then I'm going to work a three double crochet cluster into the magic loop. So you've got like a little triangle, then I just pull that tight so it's like a triangle and fasten that off. I'll make another one of them of course. Now for the outer eyes I'm going to use green. You could use blue or a goldy colour or brown. Now you start with a magic loop and two chain and work ten half double crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and a slip stitch into the second chain and you'll need two of those. For the inner eye I use black and we start with a magic circle and one chain. And I work six single crochet into the circle. Pull 
pull tight and slip stitch into the chain. And fasten off. Now I'll make another set of eyes, another pour, and another inner ear, and I'll be back and show you show you how to put it together. Now I'll start with stitching the inner ears just in there. The nose goes just below the circle with the pointy part facing down and our eyes we stitch the black at the top so it's got green around and one section so I'll do that and I'll come back and show you where the eyes will be placed now I've stitched the mouth and the ear, inner ears on. Next I'm going to stitch the eyes on. I place them with the black part towards the top. I'll be about there. So I'll stitch those on and also the mouth and the whiskers. And then I'll come back. There's our face stitched on. Next I attach the head to the body. Just in there and then the paws. They go fairly close together. Just in under there. So I'll do that and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished cat. Now that's the cat finished. I've given the tail a bit of an iron. Now I haven't stitched the ears down. I like them to sit up. But if you wanted to, you could stitch them down. If you like my video, please subscribe, like and share. I'm also on Pinterest and Instagram. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.